South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham's interview on ABC with George Stephanopoulos got bumpy when the topic of Hillary Clinton's emails came up in relation to Donald Trump's most recent indictment. Let's watch. Donald Thank Trump you. has said repeatedly, repeatedly that he did nothing wrong. Do you yeah. believe that? Well, here's what I believe. We live in an America where if you're the Democratic candidate for president, Hillary Clinton, Secretary of State, you can set up a private server in your basement to conduct government business. And when an Senator, investigation is had about your activity, no, let me finish. But you this didn't answer the you question. was ridiculous. Well, yeah, I, I'm trying to answer the question from a Republican point of view. That may not be acceptable on this show. Yes, I don't like what President Trump did in certain aspects. I don't like that Joe Biden had classified information on the garage. I don't like that Mike Pence carelessly took classified information. I don't like any of that. But what I don't like is a system in America where the Secretary of uh, State, who's a Democratic uh, candidate for president, has people take a hammer to social media devices and break them apart, apply beach, uh, bleach bit to a hard drive to erase emails, allow classified information to get on a felon's computer, Anthony Weiner. You haven't even mentioned that. So many liberals were talking about this clip uh, and the kind of emotional reaction that Lindsey Graham had as a kind of uh, a, a revealing moment that shows what a tough corner Republicans are in trying to defend this action. And that the deflection, in their view, to Hillary Clinton and the emotionality of Lind Lindsey Graham's response uh, points to how frustrating it is for Republicans to be in the position of not being able to really argue that Donald Trump didn't do something wrong. He quite obviously did do something mm -hmm. wrong. The only defense is, but they also did things wrong as well. It's also worth noting that, of course, you can distinguish what Donald Trump did from Hillary Clinton. That's not to say that maybe Hillary Clinton shouldn't, shouldn't have also been persecuted, prosecuted. Certainly, many Republicans wanted to lock her up. So, you know, flip-flopping on that is also a little inconsistent. But it is also true that what Donald Trump has been accused of is willfully withholding the documents, which is very different from what any of the other people were accused of, 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 of doing. So what do the Republicans do in this situation, and are they going to become exhausted over time of putting, being put in this position where all they can really say is, but Hillary. Yeah. Opposition to, you know, what's being described as weaponized law enforcement or weaponized national security, deep state, et cetera, has, I think, become the most uniting uh, philosophy among conservatives right now. It, it used to be, um, I mean, it's related to media bias. That's, if, you know, if you want to make a room of Republicans cheer for you, start slamming liberal media's bias. That's been true on the right for 20 plus years. Um, it's now, and it's still true, but it's almost been eclipsed a little bit by, um, by you know, the work that James Comer is doing, Jim Jordan, the, the what the Twitter files have shown, the, the kind of related issues of alleged bias on behalf of the FBI, the law enforcement people, against conservatives and Republicans. So that's something that there's no dissent on that in conservative circles. So you, you, you win, you play to your base by emphasizing that aspect of it, and Trump is you know, playing into it based on what's going on. So you should continue to talk about it as Lindsey Graham is there, but they can, what's going to be interesting, can they talk about it, and, and can they raise all those points which there's some legitimacy to different treatment of Republicans or a conservative viewpoints, maybe of Trump, without saying that. But he should still be he should still be the guy. Can't that would be the smarter way to do it? Is say it was unfair because Democrats, other people, have not been treated like this. But even if you're if you're saying that almost concedes this is an underlying wrongdoing to what Trump's done. Yes. And then why make him the guy? You could have a guy yes. that wouldn't put himself in that position, probably, or be less likely to. Isn't that we're at the tactical phase, or the right is at the tactical phase of deciding who should be their next standard bearer. And there's a rally around Trump effect because of the perception that he's being treated unfairly. But is that a tactically sound move? And it's but it's going to take more Republicans, more conservatives in positions like Lindsey Graham to say, I love the man, whatever, I love his policies, I think he's being unfairly pursued, but 
it's somebody else would make a more effective leader of our movement. Um, but I'm not really hearing that from very many elected Republicans, in which case that's not what's yeah. going to happen. Trump will be the standard bearer again. Now, notably, uh, Mike Pence did make a statement uh, over the weekend, which was a slight diversion from the kind of Donald Trump protection team that the Republican mm -hmm. Party has been forming over right, the last He has no credibility with months. conservatives. Mitt Romney has very little credibility. Sure, but that aside, Lisa we are Markowski. seeing cracks in the armor. So we're seeing people coming out, some of these new entrants in the races, and then the race coming out more strongly and being willing to say things that while they agree, this is your point that you're making, while they agree that Donald Trump is the subject of a political prosecution, that at the end of the day, he did do something wrong. So this is what Mike Pence said. He said, January 6th was a tragic day in the life of this nation, and it gives me no pleasure to say it. But on that faithful day, the American people deserve to know that the president, that President Trump demanded that I choose between him and the Constitution. Well, I chose the Constitution, and I always will. President Trump was wrong then, and he's wrong now. I had no right to overturn the election. Kamala Harris will have no right to overturn the election. He, and he's going, they're going, they're willing now to say that Donald Trump is repeatedly making a choice where he's substituting himself and his own interests in, in front of the interests of the American people. And now he's asking folks to do that again and particularly jeopardize Republicans' ability to win in a general election because of demanding loyalty over his personal crimes. Um, and even if those crimes are very small, the frustration is almost because the crimes are so small and because the motive is so unclear and what you're actually gaining from it is so de minimis, if right. there's anything at all, that to put us in this position for literally nothing is, is deeply frustrating just to the rest of the Republican Party. I just Party. don't put a lot of stock in what Mike Pence has to say because I think he's going to be a non-factor in this race. Would, would, a, would a Ron DeSantis, who's not a non-factor, consider saying um, it's unfair that they're going after Trump like this. The DOJ, the FBI has been weaponized against conservatives. They would never treat Hillary Clinton or Joe Biden or Hunter Biden or whatever like this. That said, this reflects bad judgments on Trump's part. He did this to himself. It's self-inflicting. I would never do this and he shouldn't be the Republican. I make a better Republican nominee because I wouldn't have shot myself in the foot like this and dragged but, you all down with me. But DeSantis That's not has, what he's saying at all. But DeSantis has dipped his toe in this. We talked about this, what, over a month ago, where when the last indictment happened and he made, he said, well, yeah, he's being attacked, but I don't know what goes into paying hush money to a porn star. And he's started to get his little digs in here and really try to distinguish himself tacitly, at the very least, as a family man with a nice any wife digs about who this. likes Disney and who has the gloves up to her arms and all of the kind of Kennedy-esque uh, ephemera that he's trying to rely on, and Donald Trump, who has a much more dirty, I don't know, a much kind of grittier uh, sort of public persona. I do think that the point isn't whether or not what Mike Pence personally says matters. The point is whether or not the increasing willingness of people, of these candidates and going after Trump represents cracks in the general shield that he's been able to rely on in the Republican Party. Interesting detail I saw um, reported that the other day Trump had, just to show what a fighter he is, Trump had uh, Jimmy John's for lunch, McDonald's for dinner. <laughs> He's going to need that golden toilet. <laughs> More rising right after this.